And we are back with Richard Reviews. Today we are reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash Griffin Chestnut here on Richard's online YouTube alias channel, Griffin Chestnut. And today's book Richard will be reviewing for us today is titled Fossils, A Guide to Prehistoric Life, A Golden Nature Guide. Uh, this has 481 illustrations in color. And it is a prime example of Richard's main aptitude for his interest in the prehistoric and dino past. Uh, this also stems Richard's interest in digging up prehistoric fossils. Uh, when he uh, was in Boy Scouts, Richard tried to dig up uh, dino fossils in the Adirondacks um, earlier than the year 2014, and of course he came up short-handed, but he was able to catch a few uh, colonialists, uh, or as the Eastern Standard Tribe might uh, refer to them as coelacanths. Uh, this also developed Richard, a marine biology, in which he uh, had a great interest and became obsessed with the world of arowanas. Not to be mistaken for marijuana, but arowana, the golden dragon fish uh, from the game Animal Crossing, was brought to Richard's attention early on, and he found that he had a deep admiration for it. Uh, he also watched the series Dragnet uh, from the 80s and 70s, which Richard was ultimately born into through a prehistoric um, past life. Um, he didn't feel that the uh, drugs shown in that time gave to a certain uh, fabrication, but the sugar cubes that were doused with LSD um, in times of evil and evil often brought on a certain type of uh, generic gray man suit through the uh, hospital that they want, they withered away and couldn't fathom between the two diabolical steroids. Uh, this was brought on by the experience uh, the first time people take the drug, others take it 30, 60, or even 100 times before they have a bad trip. Uh, this is a, a psychedelic steroid in which uh, often a never ever ever land of you cannot get away from. Uh, it takes one bad trip, while some others take a more tragic freak out methods with LSD. Many lose all contact with reality and form some sort of a, um, a bond between the earthly parallel universe and they fly on through a uh, euphoric state which can be well documented in the movie Man on a Wire starring uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Nonetheless, other day trippers don't attempt to change. Now this book right here unfortunately has been provided to Richard by Mr. Arne Johnson himself and we know that through the uh, graffiti label on the top, where Arn Johnson abbreviated his name. Uh, so we can go into this piece already with the understanding that there's going to be some uh, barred and uh, jarred uh, graffiti, um, some even tarred graffiti along the lines of this piece, which will ultimately drop its value. So uh, with that being said, we're going to jump into it and figure out how bad Arn Johnson uh, was able to screw this piece up, which he does in all of the pieces that Richard obtains. Unfortunately for Richard, Arne Johnson does have a collective uh, group of pieces that uh, ultimately are dedicated to only him. That's why Richard finds that it's quite necessary that he uh, obtains these pieces from Mr. Arne Johnson himself. And uh, he's often able to rehabilitate these pieces after obtaining them from Mr. Arne Johnson himself. So we can applaud Richard for that, where his talent is most appreciated. So right off the bat, we're going to thank Richard for that. And uh, we're going to get into this piece. And what makes it this piece and what doesn't make it this piece is really what gives um, Richard this, this ultimate cultivation of stand-up. So on the cover, we can see that there is some brim wall from the Owen Johnson, which we knew. And there is some writing here. It looks like a 75, 73, a pair of um, cleats. Even on the cover, we have the price since it's a very old piece. This piece was $1. Okay, $1 right there. And it's in pretty good condition. It's a small, compact piece. It can fit right in your palm. But um, it is $1. And it's pretty brim wall along the side. Good cream. Ah, so yes, more graffiti from Mr. Arne Johnson 
he was able to uh, dialectically point, point his uh, graffiti out. And on the bottom, we're good again. On the back, uh, just fossils. So no graffiti, no withstanding uh, artifacts and composition. And on the side, um, we have fossils, Golden Press, Rhodes, Zim, and Schaefer, which is a great tasting beer that Richard is a fan of. So once we open it up, we can tell more um, damage from Mr. Arn Johnson himself. And it looks like he, he, he almost wrote Arm Johnson, like an Arm Johnson. Um, and there were also these books are also available in the Deluxe Library Edition. So, Golden Nature Guides, and this one is in preparation for the Fossil Era. So Richard was able to obtain this piece in its uh, entirety with its color and its continuity in its full magnum opus. So life, past, and present. So this book is very educational on the fact that it brings certain information that anybody is into in terms of the pleothoric method stereo uh, and the evolution of vibrates. So Richard read this book well before 2014, but he was able to obtain it from the block party point of view. And uh, we are thankful for Richard for that. So almost every, si oh, here's the man that Richard always looked at. There's the man. There's the man. And uh, almost every picture, every page in this has a color picture, which is quite impressive for a book of this signature. Okay, now we don't want to give too much away, but um, it really is an impressive piece, as you can tell. The color, the detail, the drawings, everything from this piece, and it was, uh, it took a while for them to get all this information together. The author, um, graduated from, uh, Bridgewater Medical, um, before he got a job in Fashion, Fashion Institute, um, where he dedicated his, 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 uh, garage to, um, <clears throat> the flowers in the universe, which is really just a magnificent way to go, and, um, Dilophosaurus, yeah, these are all, um, Creatures that uh, ended up in the movie uh, Jurassic Park, which Richard is a fan of. So, um, this piece, uh, greatly admired by Richard. He is uh, one of the most uh, book reviews, uh, sort of in a genuinely unusual way. He was able to obtain a uh, positive outlook on the systematic racism card throughout the 80s, and he cultivated a certain stature of a... Um, a, a water cooler basis that he was able to bring onto a magic trip. So he did formize a system of events that brought into his book re reviewing career, and uh, he filps it and he demolishes different types of shoemakers. So this has been Richard Reviews with the book Fossils, A Guide to Prehistoric Life. Thank you.